studying the Nataraj, the beautiful cosmic dance of destruction and creation, and this being a, a dance of alchemy, a fire of tapas that helps us burn and purify and to allow our golden self to come out. I'd like to also share the story of the phoenix, a mythological creature that lived in paradise. And after a thousand years in paradise, he decides to rise up to the clouds and as he does, makes a great screech in this haunting sound as the sun god is coming across the sky, stops to see the phoenix and hear what is the sound. And a spark from the sun comes down into a feather of the phoenix and ignites the phoenix on fire up into flames and burns to ashes. And from the ashes, a new phoenix in three days is, um, is recreated and, and this beautiful phoenix again rises up to paradise to live for another thousand years. So what does the story have to do with Nataraj and our dancing in the storm and alchemy is that it is the same story told through a different lens. And the thing that I wanna pull out of it this week is that I believe there are two ways that we experience this idea of tapas, of fire, of burning, of alchemy, of transformation through fire. And one is by choice, where we literally choose practices or things in our life that we know will challenge us because we know we need to be stronger. We know we need the challenge. We do practices like yoga by choice. We do a difficult practice. We do poses that are hard for us. We do them and do them again until we get better at them, can do them. We allow that tapas to change our physical body, to change our energy body, our breath body, to change our spirits, to change our emotions. We choose that. There's so many things in our life like yoga that we choose to make us stronger, to help us bring out our golden. But in life, as we know, there are storms that we never choose, that we feel maybe chose us or that we just happen to be in the line of fire, right? Maybe we feel that way about what's happening um, on the planet right now with the literal fires that we have had going on. We feel that way with the pandemic. We don't choose these things, but there they are on our path. And yet we realize that we have the same opportunity to get stronger and allow this fire, this, this, uh, this process to, to allow our goldenness, which is already there to, to emerge, to come out, and for us to walk through this and be our golden self, our best self, even though we would have never chose it. Again, my, my point for um, conference this week is to look at both of these, that there are the things we choose that make us stronger and the things that we don't choose, but that they have the same potential to give us that strength and grace um, as we dance through life with these things. So. Stay tuned uh, for more on the uh, alchemy and the beautiful phoenix. Um, if you watch beneath, I always point down below um, to watch the entire conference. You can get the full scoop on it. Um, and also sharing with you some of my favorite quotes that have to do with the fires we don't choose, but how it can change us and make us stronger. And just observing in your life where you can see, ah, yes, this is one of my fires. I didn't choose this, but this has a potential to change me, to transform me.